everyone and welcome to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So I wanted to have a little fun. My boy is upstairs playing video games and I thought I would do um, a general love reading but a bottoms up. I haven't done a bottoms up reading for a while and why not, right? Um, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate okay don't panic just click off and visit another reader on YouTube there's plenty of great ones if it does resonate with you and you like this video please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel and help it grow and thank you to everyone for all your support your likes subscribes your comments your shares everything you guys have been awesome if you'd like to make a donation to my channel there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box and this channel is for adults only. Okay, so there's, I'm just going to shuffle a few decks here. I work from the bottom of the deck, okay? Um, I don't really have an overall energy. I just go from, I shoot from the bottom of the deck and then I pull from the bottom, okay? Just a couple more shuffles. So this is going to be a love reading. Um, roles can be reversed in any reading, okay? Take everything how it resonates. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? Just toss it. Um, it's never gender specific, but you may hear me say things like he, she, his, hers. It's only because I'm reading the image on the cards, guys. Um, and if I keep saying your person, maybe you, maybe your person, maybe you, maybe your person, it just gets confusing. So I just tell kind of a story, all right, how I see it. So flip the, flip the rolls if you need. All right. Let's start off with three decks, and then I'll grab my, uh, I'll grab whatever I need to as I'm called to, okay? Yeah, so this is my little invention here. It's the bottoms up read. It's really just when I want to have fun. Okay, so, and I'm not reading reversals, guys, just so you know. I'm not going to be reading reversals. All right. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, and this one. All right. So it looks to me like somebody's walking away, okay? Somebody's walking away from a love situation. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you know, I feel like they, they wanted to make you an offer. But it's, the thing is with this is, the, I, you know, I feel a lot of reluctancy. Pages move very, very, I mean, pentacles move very, very slowly. Um, and I feel like, you know, they have to come to you correct person watching because you're the empress here. You're every queen in the deck. Okay, every queen in the deck. Um, so everybody needs to approach you properly and correctly with the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. You're very intuitive um, and you're not going to waste your time on anybody waiting around. You're not going to do that. You're a single person here too. Um, and very abundant as well. You're at a nine. The highest you can go is a ten. I mean, come on. But somebody here is, is stuck and bound in devil energy, and it could be very, very sexual. Like, there could be, like, some kind of sexual addiction or... I don't know, man. It's like... It's almost like the, these they do something twisted in bed. I, I can't quite I don't know there's some kind of weird hold on this person when it comes to the bedroom okay um, yeah somebody wants to come in and offer you a cup of emotion you could be dealing with a Capricorn too a cup of emotion but you know this is a this is a night the knight of cups he comes in he schmoozes a little bit you know maybe love bombs you right maybe gives you a gift or candies tells you how beautiful you are makes you feel all pretty and then they leave this isn't a night that this isn't somebody who has staying power at all okay um 
but he is coming in to offer you some kind of love or well I don't want to call it love we don't know if there's love in that cup there could be a shiny little turd in that cup we don't know okay it's what I always say about this knight of cups it's not a king he's not really offering you real love just something that looks like it perhaps and maybe even feels like it but um, I think because you're intuitive you're gonna know this person's still attached okay and I think this person's very confused <laughs> um, because they're still attached and bound like obs like there's an obsession or an addiction here is what I'm feeling okay something that they're stuck to this person about but it feels sexual to me but yet they do have emotions and what they would think is love for you it's just doesn't it's love that doesn't stay it doesn't stick around and it's going to bring down this person's tower you know everything in their foundation is rocking right now um that means that life as they know it is just completely burning down <laughs> getting struck by lightning the divine is bringing this down because this person cannot choose I feel like they're so wishy-washy um, I feel like they're they they're non-committal they're wishy-washy they have addictions and I feel like it's sexual um, and they're playing with an empress okay they're holding on but yet here's the thing that I see about this depiction this person is thinking thinking about a brand new beginning but they're very very guarded okay they're guarding their heart so this person like I said it's it's like we don't know if that's even real love in that cup and they don't stay they're guarding their heart but yet at the same time they're holding they're holding on to you like stepping on them like holding you down with both feet okay um, or this person is holding on tight to something else and and wanting a new beginning but guarded their feel their heart is guarded it's almost like they just can't open their heart enough you know yeah this person you know they need to cut something out but I feel like they they are going to cut something out with great speed come in and communicate clear the air cut through the crap you know or they want to at least on one see they're so wishy-washy this person's very wishy-washy on one hand they want to come in super duper fast you could be dealing with an air sign on the other hand they're stagnant they know that there's one step left to take in this for completion and closure and all of that good stuff but they don't want to move because they would have to then turn around and face all this wall of burdens of the decisions that they've made they got themselves into like a stuck position and I feel like they want to get out of it I feel like they want to get unstuck but they don't <laughs> this person like knows that you're the empress here and they want to make an offer but they don't that wishy-washiness and being in that should I shouldn't I will I won't I you know that kind of energy is bringing down their tower the divine is like enough kaboom and it's it's keeping your person up at night okay um, well not only their thoughts but the really super like fugly bedspread that they have on it but this bedspread tells me that there's patterns here um, you know patterns of something that they have to face they have to face this they have to confront it you know this person is having sleepless nights nightmares if they're sleeping at all possibly sitting up in bed crying at night thinking about how you know everything about their life is like coming to an end here I feel like somebody's watching you too yeah this is a, a twin flame soulmate journey connection <laughs> twin flame connection here okay past life connection that kind of thing all right I don't know I don't like shout out twin flames like normally but yeah there's a there's an actual journey a twin flame journey yeah <laughs> and a difficult one by the way you could be dealing with Gemini 
Ooh, yes, it is a difficult one. But yeah, this is um, this could very well be a twin flame soulmate journey. If not, it's just a very, very extremely powerful soulmate connection. And this person just can't. It's almost like part of the things that they think about, I feel, is trying to forget about you. Trying to separate themselves, perhaps. Because this person is very go in really fast, leave very fast. In and out, in and out. It's very in and out energy. Um, but they can feel you. They can. You're in their energy all the time, even though you're not around and vice versa okay yeah this is creating a lot of inner turmoil because you know I, I feel like they they wish they could forget you or they wish they could I don't know move on somehow but I feel like they can feel you and it's keeping them that's part of what's keeping them up at night but this person has a lot of inner turmoil they could also feel in your energy that they may have um, competition now with you meaning you may have met someone else they could possibly feel that too but they're fighting it they're fighting this connection that's what I'm trying to say they're fighting this connection they don't want to feel this way okay they don't want to I feel like they're doing a lot of manifesting too here um, working growing their pentacles um, you know this person could I feel like they're just I feel like they're manifesting not normally how I would read this card yeah there's a you know <clears throat> Or maybe perhaps they're trying to switch their focus on to refocus because they are trying to fight this connection hardcore and they can't they can't um, they don't yeah they don't know which way to go here Oop, even upside down you know a fish just swims around aimlessly yeah they don't know what to decide they've got a blindfold on They've got to take one of these court, uh, swords and cut something out. One of these, one of these birds has to go, right? <laughs> one of these birds has to die here. One of these birds has to go. They've got two swords. They need to take a sword and cut one down. All right. They need a new beginning. They need clarity. They need to cut something out. They need to make a decision, or they needed to, because their love is getting sacrificed here okay I just see a sacrifice usually this card stands for like uh, meditating on something <laughs> does that look like meditating to you that looks like somebody cut somebody like gutted somebody with a third-party situation and needs to grab the fourth sword to cut something out but they ended up cutting out your spleen instead yeah I feel like um, whoever did this it's taking a toll on their health um, I feel like they're you know being I don't know it looks like torment to me chased and tormented by other women right now somebody may be trying to attack this person too you know this could have been no I feel like this is the divine masculine yeah I feel like they're watching you they're watching you now after they did this to you while they're still in this two of swords energy you know needing to choose something because they've got too many women here but they want to communicate with you they want to give back to the situation okay yeah they want to be victorious I feel like this person has a lot of other people involved and maybe they want to be victorious just so that they can win or just so that they it's almost like you're like your prize or your like a trophy or something but they know this is going to be a battle this woman here she's going up against four other men 
and she's very calm and she's doing it one-handed she's got one hand behind her back <laughs> yeah she's got one hand behind their back if they could win you they would have a victory this person may also um, really be concerned about how other people see them view them okay but they feel they do feel like this is you know this would be the trophy of love here I feel like they just can't find you in all of these other people okay but for right now there's stagnancy this person's just hanging around doing absolutely nothing about this it's almost like like I said they're so wishy-washy they're feeling all of this on the inside but they're not acting on it and they're not showing it yeah they want to come in but they're coming in slow because of the wishy-washiness because of you know whatever scenarios they have in their head I don't know this is the knight of pentacles and he moves super duper slow the slowest moving knight in the deck he, he is the most reliable though. He makes it to his destination. It just is that he moves so slow. You would think he's not coming at all. And he does offer um, a pentacle. But remember when I said the person was guarded? This person's wearing armor. This person's very, very guarded. They're very, very burdened. You know, once again, this is the Nine of Wands. Didn't we start with this? No, maybe not. I don't remember. But this is a person who has unfinished business. They need to go one more step and complete this thing. This is a wounded warrior resting. And they, they really feel like they don't want to go another step. They need to confront this wall of burdens behind them that they actually caused. The, the thing with this card, though, is this is a nine. They missed up an opportunity to communicate. This person should have communicated before because if they drop this wand before this nine was the eight of wands, and that stands for communication. If they had only communicated before, they wouldn't be in this, in this position, okay? At least that's how I'm feeling. They, this is a person who needs to communicate. What else can you show us, Divine? Yeah, they need to come in and communicate. Set the story straight. Cut through the crap, you know? Cut through everything. Cut something out. But right now, look at it. It's almost like, see, normally, ah, oh, ah, oh, this gets me. Normally, the Knight of Swords moves in really super duper fast. They're, they need to make a, a leap. This person needs to make a leap of faith to cut something out. This is a leap. This person needs to take a leap of faith to cut something out. And I usually don't say that. A leap of faith isn't normally said with anything besides the Fool card. But yeah, they need to, they need to take a leap to move forward. They need to take a leap and cut something out. They need to take a leap of faith and speak their truth so that they can go to calmer waters you know, so that they can go where, where it's not so emotional, so they can kind of chill, chillax this whole thing out, you know? Yeah, back, because right now they're being, this is devil energy, it's toxic. They need to take a leap of faith and cut it out, you know? They may need to talk to this person in the Queen of Swords energy. This is somebody who's been hurt so many times before that um, she, she just cannot take any more crap from people. So she says, you need to approach me correctly with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, or I'll cut you out of my world without batting an eyelash. Why is she here? You know, perhaps she's in this kind of energy and this person is intimidated and doesn't want to come near her and talk to her. So instead, they're walking away. Eight of Cups. 
inner turmoil. Could be dealing with the fire sign. You know, but the thing is here that this is oh these two came out before. Hold on a second, let me reshuffle. I want to make sure I'm getting you guys the right messages. Yeah, this person is facing inner turmoil. Should they walk away or should they face and communicate with you in the in the Queen of Swords energy? That's a lot. Should they try to communicate with you or should they walk away? And that's what their inner turmoil is right now. And they're in a toxic situation. If they come to you right now, they have to explain to you that they can't give you anything anyway because they're bound to a toxic situation. All they want to do is escape, get someplace better. Alright, what else can you show me here? We feel like you're standing in your strength here, your power. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but um, the, your person is going within at this time to try to figure out how to get to you because you're so strong. You're just, you're, right now you're stronger than them. You're in queen energy and really they've only shown me page and knight energy. And they need to try to come to you, you know, the proper way. All right, what else can you show me here about this um, hermit card? Oop. Yeah, they feel trapped, stuck. They feel jailed. Your person could be in jail. They could be in jail. Um, or they just feel trapped and bound in a situation that they that no longer serves them. They feel completely stuck. They don't know how to get out. So that's they go into hermit energy to try to find a way out and shine the light on their path so they can see what steps to take next. So they can find where the... Where the um, you know, whatever, any kind of obstacle that's in their way. There we go. Obstacle. Yeah. Yeah. This person feels very, very jailed where they are, actually. Like, they can't move. They can't go anywhere. They can't budge. Um, I feel like their health is dwindling, too. The fire inside is starting to dwindle. See, it's smoking out of its nose. The f this fire-breathing dragon, all it has now is little poofs of smoke. Yeah, they need to get on the divine bus here. The, you know, look, the divine and their spirit guides are trying to give them the instructions. <laughs> They're trying to hand them the instruction book, but you know men, you know men, they're trying to get them to follow the map, but hey, are they, you know, go in and ask for directions, dude, no, 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 yeah, so the divine is here with them, yeah, this person may be in jail, somebody's person may be in jail here because of some kind of addiction possible DUI or something like that they may I think for you know half of you your person's in jail the other half you know you you guys figure it out the other the other half they're just they feel trapped in in this toxic relationship with a karmic perhaps or somebody that that's Helping them, enabling them, and I don't know. I feel a lot of weird stuff off of this double card. Yeah, the divine is, like I said, they're trying to give them an instruction pamphlet. But men don't really do the instructions. They're trying to give them a map, and men don't, you know, give them directions, man. No, don't need them, you know. Uh, pretty soon they're going to have to listen. I feel like this situation may be under judgment. You know, the, 
so far all they've done is conform. The, like I said, your person could be in jail. This is, I'm wondering, is your person in jail? I'm thinking, yeah, yeah. Either they're in jail or they're just conforming. Conforming in a toxic relationship, settling. This is like settling, guys. Settling and being suppressed at the same time. This is settling in a toxic relationship because they, they're, they're too afraid to confront the Queen of Swords and tell her the truth. That's pretty sad. <laughs> I gotta say, it just is. It's like... It's, it's terrible. It's selfish. What they're doing is they're destroying a divine soulmate connection here. It's divine. This is a gift. This is a connection that you both feel. It's undeniable. And this person is selfishly just going to sacrifice it. Selfishly sacrifice it because they can't nut up and come and tell the truth. Wow. Wow. Maybe this was, maybe you were under attack, Divine Feminine, if you're watching. Maybe because this now is starting to feel more like an attack. Yeah. But you know what, Divine Feminine? You're intuitive. You're the keeper of the secrets for the higher font. You are connected to the Divine. And, you know, I feel like you intuitively are going to be able to know when someone's coming through to try to sacrifice you again or coming in, you know, with the divine. You're waiting for what the divine wants for you. And you'll know. You'll know who the divine is sending for you. You'll know who the divine is sending for you and who isn't being sent by the divine. Okay? All right. Let's get some flash on this. I hope you guys enjoyed this mess, this bottoms up reading. <laughs> I am so bad when I, I, look, I'm a neat freak. I really am. I'm cleaning constantly all the time. I'm a neat freak. But when it comes to the cards, man, I, I am so sloppy. Somebody's very, very angry because you know what? What they got was disloyalty or they're angry because they were disloyal and it screwed everything up but you, we've got a divine masculine out here who's just angry af because of some kind of disloyalty disloyalty yeah they could be moving out this could have been from soulmate connection okay and anyone can be soulmates oh and look at the <laughs> and saying goodbye I think this is somebody who's leaving. Yeah, because somebody broke the loyalty here. I think maybe the karmic did something. Yeah, I saw the empty couch. Your divine masculine may have to sleep on somebody's couch, perhaps. But they're moving. Somebody needs to move. There could have been some kind of abuse here. And this could have been about money, money issues. But this is um, either emotional, um, either emotional or physical abuse, mental abuse. That's the stake that you put on a black eye. Okay, so that is my abuse card. Yeah, I feel like this person is watching you, learning a bunch of details, perhaps doing their due diligence in, in watching you and studying you because the fake person that they're with just doesn't offer them what they need anymore. There's nothing to offer them here. This is just filler at this point. Okay? And this person's fake. Nobody has a, no picnic. Nobody brings baguettes to a real picnic with kids. And you don't plan everything in a color scheme with the matching the grass in the background. This is a person who could have mental issues as well. Going from hot to cold in like a split second. Flipping out, being calm, then freaking out. 
and, but this is something that they keep well hidden you know that picture of the woman in the picnic she took that picture she had a cameraman there they snapped the picture for Facebook so that she can look perfect and happy but see they cover a lot up under with this rug there's a lot under this rug that people don't see and that's probably the mental issues the fact that the divine masculine feels like he's jailed and constantly thinking about somebody else and the other women and the fact that he's afraid here she is again this is the fake lady with the baguettes yeah don't buy that uh-uh uh-huh three seconds before this picture was snapped she was screaming her head off at this kid probably pulling at those pigtails and the cameraman said say cheese and they snapped this picture just so she could post it on Facebook and make herself look perfect she's fake this person's fake and your divine masculine knows it and I feel like he's talking to a friend about it they may even be laughing about it this these are two kids that scare the crap out of me by the way <laughs> I love them to pieces but they scare me because they are planners alright and their plans are brilliant and they work and they're scary alright so these are two friends that are planning perhaps I feel like your divine masculine is afraid of this crazy fake person that they're hiding everything about because they fear them they fear them all right what else can you show me what's the oh yeah see cold feet and and somebody feels sick here somebody could um somebody's health could be dwindling i think somebody's just nervous and scared and it's making it's really taking a toll on their health at this point all right, what else can you show me here? Anything else? For, I hope you guys enjoyed the bottoms up read. They're interesting. Yeah, that once again, the scissors, they need to cut something out. The light is being shed on this. One more card for the, for the people watching here. Any advice? Anything? Oh, that's too much. Yeah, but it's about the divine masculine. The divine masculine's life right now, he feels like his life is in a, in a bathroom stall, okay? Feels like it's being flushed down a toilet. This is my card for the divine masculine. Yeah, he's upset because he's losing his sweet one. Yeah, he's losing you, divine feminine. He's upset. The divine masculine is angry over you. Angry over you. Because he's stuck and you're not. It's on the other side. Oh. Either you or him may be having a baby as well. Let's see about this. Yep, and he's scared. Scared. It's it's just feeling more and more like his life is like a crime scene. Okay? That's a cheap hotel crime scene bathtub with a with a fake person in it he's surprised by this because I didn't think he would think that that it would go this way but he's he's learning more and more about this soulmate this twin flame um, soulmate connection and this journey that now now he's just angry he's angry because he didn't know he didn't know in screwing you over he was screwing over himself you know what I mean? He chose poorly, very, very poorly. Now he wants to write a whole new story with something that's more divine. He's learning. He's doing his homework. He's doing the work. Oh, yeah. The divine, your divine masculine is doing the work now. He's mad. He's mad. Yeah, he's doing the work. He wants out of this crap life. All right, that's what I've got for you today. Um, I hope that resonates. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, I appreciate all your support, okay? Good luck with everything, and peace out.